Let me read you what it says here in Ephesians 6. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Don't you believe what's going on right now in America, what's going on in the world is evil? The pushing and the forcing, the making sure that everybody conforms to a certain way, you don't think that's evil, taking away from your freedoms? And here's what scripture also says, if you buy into that, guess what you need to do, which is the next step, which is putting on the full armor of God. What? Let's read again here in Ephesians chapter six. It says, therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of the evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, it says here, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with the feet fitted with the readiness that comes with the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith, which you can use to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit of all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. So when you're putting on the full armor of God, you have to know this too as well. This is our defensive armor. And there's also offensive weapons. The offensive weapons is what? The spoken word, the word of God. And your sword is what? Using the Holy Spirit to advance God's work. So that being said, what are your thoughts here? What happened to this assassination attempt on President Trump? Now, how do you think it affects your life? I want to know. Put it in the comment section below. Do you feel the way I feel? You may feel opposite the way I feel. I want to know. Put it in the comment section below. We want to learn from you. We need to have this conversation, discussion, so therefore we can hear all voices, so therefore you can win. Figure out what your policies are when going through crisis. In the process, bottom line, be a leader in a moment of crisis. That being said, make sure you subscribe and let us know your comments below. Till we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.